Greetings and welcome, citizens, to another episode of oh, Let's Play Frostpunk. Right, where did we leave off last time? Right, we were building an expedition. Or rather, we were working on getting a beacon up. Which we should be starting any day now, because I would really like to see outside of the crater. That we are in. At the moment, I'm trying to figure out how to best support our people. As well as also make sure that I am uh, fully stocked on resources that I will need. Because there's still quite a lot of stuff to research. Although not necessarily in the bottom tech tree. Now, uh, for the achievement that I'm going for, essentially central heating. So I won't be building any uh, steam hubs there. Any you know, steam hubs. So this entire branch is not necessary for me. I will, however, be needing to take advantage of the range upgrade, and I will need heaters. But that can come later. For now, I just need to make sure that I get wood. How do I get wood? Well, that is another question, isn't it? There is still some wood left in the wood crates. Here and here. I'll probably want to put on a gathering post. So let's actually get some time. Now, it is functionally impossible to get all of this in one post, so. Or at least these three. However, you can get these two with the posts and these two with the posts. But that will come later, that's not important right now, because I'm trying to beat this cold. So for now, I kind of want to put this close enough that I don't have to make too long a road, since I um, will be needing a little bit of road works. I need eight wood. Alright, so. Eight wood it is. We'll probably be, re be reclaiming that road when we're done. Alright, so this pile is almost depleted. Yeah. So we can dismantle this house then. Now, with all the upgrades that I'm going to be doing to the generator range, which is three of them, the range will be extended four points. So basically this workshop is actually a little bit too close but I can move that later. For now that's not important. Let's just focus on actually getting stuff done. Also, um, just in case anyone is wondering, uh, I've recently got a kitten. This is essentially her second day here and if she's mewling in the background for my attention, which she is doing a lot at the moment. My apologies for that. She is adorable, but she is also a little bit not used to the place yet. Alright, so... I need to prioritize. Alright, so people... are not working. Let's see. Are there anyone working here? No, everyone is working over on that side. But they can move over to this house once that is done. Introduce a new law. Now... I kind of want to have engineer apprentices, actually. To speed up the research. Let's do that. Now, I still need to build a child shelter. I have two days left for that. All right, wood crates have been depleted, so you all can go over here. And this can be reclaimed. All right, the bacon has been researched. So let's drop the beacon. It can be pretty much everywhere I want to, but I kind of want to have it a little bit out of the way. There, that'll do. 
And you now need to work on something else now. But I initially wanted actually the sawmill because that'll help me claim some more wood. But right now that doesn't matter. actually if I can oh, sawmill and let's go to speed three get through the night all right so there goes the beacon It magnificent. Right. Now we need to set up an expedition, which requires five workers, which I have apparently, and wood, which I don't have. Forty wood to be specific. All right. So we've run out of uh, people doing that one. Right, let's just keep on going. Right. People cheer as a giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they have done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our pe lost people in the first land. The women who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Yes. And I do desperately want to give them that win. So let's make people work. Because I need the supplies. The start of the day, time always slows down. And there's the cold. Alright, let's get the expedition. We want the lost expedition to be done. Now, expedition members supply their own food, so that's a way to get rid of at least some hungry mouse in the city. Alright. Now, I want to get a sort of equilibrium of, uh, of stuff. To not constantly be running out of uh, supplies. Alright, sawmill has been researched. I will be needing the heaters. But I really need to start working on stuff, so... Let's get me a sawmill going. Now, immediate placement is not entirely crucial, because there's upgrades you can get for sawmills. Now, you can go a bit for quantity or quality in this, and then basically drop down multiple sawmills with less than efficient working conditions, or quality, just a few sawmills with fully up, fully upgraded. Depending a little bit on what your worker situation is. At the moment I have to go for quality, because I just don't have the workers, but that will soon change. I also need some more wood. And then I really need to start working on the houses. Time to rest, folks. Works out as 
All right, the lost expedition. The rest of our people made camp here, too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. A happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We have been wandering for days until we couldn't go any longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults are surround us, packed and ready to go. So we now got to the gloomy cave and the sturdy shelter. We will escort them to the city because I want all the people and if I don't escort them, some might die. Mm, maybe not from this one, but it is a distinct possibility. Alright, now I'm a little bit fine on call at the moment. Call balance is great. So I am gonna pull some workers uh, from the call pile. And put them to work in the sawmill immediately. People, late, exhausted, and ready to work. Now, because of what I'm doing, it is taking a little bit longer to get an efficient build-up, but in the end it will probably work out. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left long and long ago they ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. Alright, so now we need way more housing. And we probably also need way more stuff. Alright, let's send our people off to work. I'm gonna send them to the crash sites for some supplies. Now there is stuff of course that you uh, learn as you play um, for what certain locations do. Now I know particularly what the event for the gloomy cave is. So I'm trying to uh, think ahead of that. Alright, another law. Let's get the fighting arena. New law. A new law has passed. Let's keep going faster. So how are the houses doing? Alright, so the bunk houses are livable, which is great because well I need that. But what I need right now is a lot of wood. Time to get to work. Also, let's turn on the heat in these uh, buildings. I kinda don't want this place to be standing idle, so I'll just use that as an upgrade. Alright, let's get me some wood. Now, first off, I really need to build a child shelter. Uh, whoops. Where to put it? Child shelter is such an awkward building to put down since it doesn't really conform to any building constraints that I have put anywhere else. It doesn't really want to fit anywhere, but I do need to put it down because otherwise I will get in trouble. Alright, so let's get more bunk houses. Alright, over rises. It should now also increase the uh, efficiency if I've got enough people, but I don't have quite enough children in the shelters yet. Ah, I see. Well, some people are getting a little bit too cold. You know what, just come off the uh, supply line then.
All right, hope will go up. Good. And I really need more wood. So let's... Let's go for more wood. Slight bit of overlap. And I need eight wood, all right. I'm probably not gonna be able to commit to this promise because I've only got four hours. I'm never gonna get enough stuff. All right, let's get... This is where our expedition will split up when our vehicles crash during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. Some raw food and wood. We discover the observatory. So we'll get plenty of wood and raw food. Now I'm gonna be dropping that off at the city because I really need to speed up the building. Alright, so the sawmill upgrade is done. And what else do I need? I should really get the steelworks worked on next. Give people some place to work. I probably also will need to start building some more hunters' huts, but that's not an immediate concern. Yep. That is unfortunate, but I had some room for that. I really need the temperature to go up so it's safe to uh, go and gather more stuff. But right now I can't... No, I can build that. Alright, let's... Get this set up. to go next. Let's go to the gloomy cave. That's quite an interesting encounter. Alright, we're getting a little bit to the reach of what I can do. Could put in another child shelter. That should help. All right, heat is going up, so everywhere should now be livable or comfortable. And I should probably also put in a arena if I can. And since I have now the spare workers, let's get another tech lab. Now here you can sort of see what the problem is with the radial grid. Is that it doesn't perfectly line up. But for now that's fine. Alright, steelworks. Now, there's two steel deposits that I can take advantage of. And that I will take advantage of. Alright, let's get faster gathering. do anything else so but we should be having plenty of wood to build now all right so we should now have yeah 
a permanent modifier. Every kid has a child place in a child shelter. Alright, then let's first build a fighting arena. Let's try to get as many houses within reach as possible. Probably gonna be a little overlap. Alright, wood crates have been depleted, so there's just one more stack of that remaining. Alright, let's get some workers on this. Now, the steel mills are, or the steel works rather, are sort of the opposite problem of the uh, wood deposits. Or, the, um, the sawmills because I have to go with quality because I only have two spots where I can get steel there is steel to be found out of the out in the wilderness of course but and there is a place where I can get a regular delivery of steel but I can't currently make the most of that Let's work forward. I need the, the coal thumper to start with. Um, now this is sort of an interesting choice because I I have some dead dead people that I need to take care of. So I could build a cemetery, which would give me some more hope to work with. Or corpse disposal which opens up some more interesting ways of dealing with problems. Now, ceremonial, funer ceremonial funerals essentially allow you to get hope uh, or reduce the amount of hope you lose every time someone dies. Which is, I think, more useful to us than organ transplants, which is just basically increases the healing rate and another option below that to essentially use the corpses as fertilizer. Which is nice, but not really important. But I'll just go with cemetery. We need some place to store our dead. It may as well be this. Alright. Back to building houses. And one of our people died. Well. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. Should really open up another medical post, but first, the gloomy cave. Beset by beasts, you can hear terrified shrieks coming from the cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Hmm, well, that's no good. Let's risk attacking the bears. Now, this can go wrong, and there's no way to know. There's also no way to prepare. We succeeded. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. Then they all set towards the city. Good. Sort of. Alright, I need more steel rapido, so let's get this going. Stop dying, people. Uh, 
Yep. Alright, the number of homeless is going down. Good, good. Alright, let's send the scouts back out there. Let's go to the observatory. Now, there is a mechanic in the game that scouts can actually move faster to places they've already been to, which is why they move quite quickly back to the city, if you tell them to. This may become more useful later, but right now everything is so close by it doesn't make much of a difference. Alright. Let's keep on building, because I will need more bunkhouses. Now the bunkhouses on the outer row are just livable, but that's fine. We still have some time before the temperature drops again and I really need to act. Alright, is there any research left to do on the bottom rank, on the top rank? Not really. Alright, let's get some more scouts. Ceremonial funerals, the loss of hope caused by death is halved. I really do need that. And let's get some more street builds. And this building has finished its work. Good. Alright, then it can leave and uh, go away. And you need to work at full power. Alright, so the efficiency of my workshop is now properly at uh, 120. So pretty much every child is in a shelter at the moment. Good. And... Set up a gathering post over here. As well as a hunter's hut. Back through here. Uh, let's get. No, not that one. I mean, I do need that one, but let's put it over there. Alright, more scouts are needed. Let's create some more scouts. And you can go to the sturdy shelter. Alright. Resource wise, I am. <sighs> Don't quite have enough steel for that. Let's get the generator range upgrade. And let's build more houses. Alright, coal pile depleted. So this house is now useless. Right, I have plenty of workers. Kind of need is some storage, but I need more steel for that, and I'm still building houses. So let's actually work on a promise that I've made: a medical post, which I can't fit in here. Darn! That is a pity. Now a medical post is slightly smaller than a house. I think I'll fit it over there. In any case, that'll be the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.